The Minister of Health, Dr. Jane Ruth Acheng, who officially opened the Africa Cancer Test and Treat Initiative Conference, noted that cancer has affected many families, yet it is preventable if people put more effort in reducing the risk factors. In just one year, 2018 alone, 9.6 million people died from cancer and over 18 million new cases occurred in the same year. About 50% of all new cancer cases and 70% of global cancer deaths occur in low and middle income countries, including our beautiful country. However, the minister highlighted that one of the key obstacles to cancer prevention is lack of awareness. She gave hope that the Ministry of Health is dedicating resources to community health strategies through door-to-door -door sensitization, and this is expected to cause a difference. Where is the care gap? Basically three. Lack of information, late detection, and limited availability of testing and care facilities. Minister Acheng appealed for support from community extension workers so that they are facilitated to sensitize the public on the dangers of cancer as well as the prevention strategies. She appealed to the public to avoid smoking, drinking alcohol, and ensure good nutrition and proper care for their bodies. We need our community extension workers paid an allowance so that they are motivated to move door to door to sensitize the population. The minister was concerned that many people are reluctant to go for immunization against cancer, yet vaccines are available, which has unnecessarily exposed them to risks of acquiring the disease. Let us emphasize to the population to stop smoking. And if they cannot stop smoking, then those who choose to smoke or who choose to kill themselves slowly should not do it where there are other people and expose them to those risks. The chairman of the Parliamentary Committee on Health, Dr. Charles Ayume, who represented the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Anita Annette Among, emphasized that every community member has a role to play in cancer prevention. He explained that the Ministry of Health will get funds to establish cancer centers in different regions across the country to ease treatment and decongest the Cancer Institute in Mulago. That kids will come about 4.5 billion. And we say it, because all of us here are candidates, especially members of parliament, when you're in your rural constituency, if you get a, if you collapse, you should be able to go to health centre three. And uh, you know one of the first basics here. So we say, why don't we put this in? It's a one-off procurement, and we can give it to either Ministry of Health or NMS to do a blanket procurement and distribute this. And again, we got a no objection from uh, According to the Ministry of Health, the commonest types of cancer among women are breast and cervical cancer, while prostate and lung cancer afflict many men. Gloria Yorankunda, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.